welcome back to my channel and today I thought I would share with you my shoe choices for walking around the Disney parks. For the longest time I have been wearing just tennis shoes when we walk around the parks because that is the most comfortable thing to wear when you're walking around the parks. You can definitely avoid getting blisters or having very hurt feet or uncomfortable feet, back aches, legs, leg aches or knee pain, whatever the case may be. So we always, always, always wear tennis shoes. And I have been kind of sick and tired of wearing tennis shoes all the time because some of the outfits that I wear to Disney, I like to wear sandals with them because tennis shoes just don't look all that great with some of the cute little outfits that I want to wear when I'm there. So I thought I would try a new pair of sandals. So I googled some information and I looked up a pair of sandals that were good for walking long distance and that wouldn't cause, you know, back aches, leg pain, knee pain, foot pain, whatever. So I found a pair on Zappos and I actually paid $100 for these sandals. And as you can see, I wore them a lot when we were there at Disney. I thought they were definitely very, very comfortable. They were definitely worth the price because I did not have any back pain, no leg pain, no knee pain, no foot pain whatsoever. However, I did have blisters on the bottom of my feet, right on the pads, right where my pads hit the bottom of the shoe. I did have blisters on um, the bottom of my feet from these, and I also did have a blister on the back of my heel um, from this shoe, which is my left shoe. So I had a blister on the back of my foot from there, but um, nothing that um, I couldn't take care of with wearing a pair of socks and some tennis shoes ha had I needed to, which I did. Um, but I did wear these shoes and I thought they were comfortable and I think because I just weren't broke in, I think that's what caused me to have the blisters on there, but I think that they're wonderful. So they have, they're made like of cork on the sides, which is nice and comfortable. And then they have a Velcro strap, which is kind of like cheesy, I thought. And then this also has a Velcro on there to make it um, tighten it or loosen it whatsoever. Um, and I was kind of afraid that the Velcro might come off when I'm walking around or whatever, but it did not. The Velcro held up really, really well. And I wish I could tell the name of the shoe, what the name of the shoe was, but it wore off when we were walking. So I feel horrible about that, but I did order them on Zappos. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd share with you my, um, you know, walking sandals versus my tennis shoes, which always, always carry an extra pair of tennis shoes with you anyway, um, because you may need to continue to wear um, tennis shoes if you just cannot wear sandals. Um, I did find myself after I got the blisters on my feet that it was very, very uncomfortable to wear the sandals after the blisters were there so I actually just had to put um, cover them up with a band-aids and then put socks on and then wear my tennis shoes and it was a lot better um, I didn't take care of those blisters while I was there because I didn't want them to um, uh, be uh, hurt or more painful I guess when I was walking around so I took care of those when I got home but I would definitely suggest um, investing in a very nice pair of walking sandals especially if you you know want to have like sandals that look nice with your outfit or whatever and I was very happy that I did and it actually kept me I felt like I it kept my feet a little bit cooler as well as I walked around the parks because my feet tend to swell when they get hot so these were actually very very good with for that as well and also for water rides my socks and my tennis shoes did not get wet so I wasn't walking around with wet feet inside my tennis shoes so again sandals were you know good they they played a good part in that as well but anyway I will always probably wear tennis shoes and I will always probably wear sandals it just depends on what we're doing and how my feet feel but um, overall I thought these were really great sandals and I'm glad that I bought them and I'm glad that I tried them out so, if you guys really enjoyed my review on sandals versus tennis shoes for your Disney trip, please leave me a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new and leave me a huge thumbs up if this is something that you really enjoyed watching. Until next time guys, thanks so much. Bye!